Hey YouTube, this is Thinking of Pi. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a 4x4 matrix keypad with your Raspberry Pi. These things are really easy to use, very simple, very easy to wire. There's really not a lot to it, but I do want to talk a little bit about how they work. And I think that'll be a little bit easier if we just go take a look at it. So this is really all there is to it. We've got a keypad with four rows, four columns, and eight pins. Each of those eight pins is then connected to the GPIOs over here. Now, the eight pins control uh, the four columns. Pins one through four control the columns. And then five through eight control the rows. And all the software has to do is detect when a button is pressed, it uh, connects two of those pins. So if pins four and so we'll say eight, right here. If pins four and eight are connected, the software just knows that that's going to be the number one. If it were pins one and eight, we'd have the A. That's it. Super simple. Let's take a look at the code and we'll make it work and I'll show you a little bit more about how it works. So the code here is just as simple as the wiring. We've got our GPIO. We've got a library for the keypad. We define the rows, the number of rows. We define the number of columns, and then we have an array here that has the keys. And then we have another array for the row pins, another one for the column pins, and then we run it. We've got an object defined here for the keypad that references the library, and we give it the, um, the array with the keys, the row pins, the column pins, and the number of rows and the number of columns. We do want to have um, a debouncer in here because they are push buttons. And we just ask it to get the key. Defines that as a variable, which happens to be a string. And then we just say if key is not null, basically saying if it's not not pressed, then it will print out you press key, whatever. So let's run it. Okay, so we can see down here in the shell that the program is running. I'm gonna reach over here and press a one, and it says you press key one. Four, seven, star, and they all work. Not a lot to it, very easy to use. You could uh, hook up a relay attached to a motor that opens a safe. Program in your password, and it works. Very easy, very simple, not a lot to it. That's all I've got on the keypad today, but next week I will be showing you how to use an infrared motion sensor. So that's also gonna be another very simple project. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'd love to read your comments below.